Alrighty guys, it's Amit and welcome back to DevDreamer. So guys, in this lesson then, we're taking a look at how to create a table in HTML. Now tables are really useful for storing tabular information. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a basic table and also how to apply some basic CSS styling as well. So let's begin. So the first thing we do then is to create our table, we simply use the table tags. So that's the word table. So we have opening and closing table tags. And then inside that then we can start inputting our information. So the way that we create tables is we focus on the table rows. So remember guys, rows go across and columns go down. So the way that we write a table row or create a table row is by using the tag TR. Okay, so we do opening and closing TR tags and TR stands for table row. And then inside that then we can create our first table row. I don't know if that doesn't make any sense right now. Um, as we start building this, you'll, you'll see exactly what I mean. So first then, let's actually create some headers for our table. So we're going to use the th tag inside here. Okay, and let's just type in, let's just type in heading one. Okay, and then we can create another table header. And let's call this heading. If I can type, <laughs> heading two. And then finally, let's create another one here. And let's call this, yep, you guessed it heading three okay now if we take a look at our browser window then we can see that each of these headers um, has actually been rendered as bold okay we didn't actually apply um, any sort of CSS side into this to make it bold but these are bold naturally because um, uh, HTML recognizes uh, rather the browser recognizes that these are th tags which stand for uh, table headers so this then is our first table row so let's just minimize this so we've got table and inside that we have a TR table row, okay? So as you can see, it's going across. Now let's create a second table row, okay? But in TR again, and inside here then, we're not gonna use TH again, because we've got our headers for our table. Now what we need is we need some table data. So that's TD, okay? Now the way that this will show up on the screen is our first table data that we write is gonna go underneath our first table header. Okay, the second one will go under the second header and the third one will go under the, under the third header. Let me show you what I mean. So here then, let's just type in item one. And as you can see, this has actually uh, rendered underneath heading one. If we were to do our second table data here, item two, this has rendered under heading two. And then if we do the third one, this will render underneath item, sorry, uh, heading three, like so, okay? Um, and then if we were to do more here, so let's just copy this, paste this in, it's going to continue in that fashion. So the first table header and the first table data, okay, of each table row will go underneath each other. Same thing for the second, okay, all go underneath each other, like so. And that's how we start building out our table. Now at the moment, um, let's just get rid of this quickly. At the moment, our table doesn't really look like a table, okay? There's no borders or anything on here. The way that we can do that is we can use our CSS. So let's actually pull this side there and go into our styling. And in here, then, let's actually select the table. Let's select the TH, our table headers, okay? And let's also select the TD, is the table data. And then here, I'm just going to do border is going to be one pixel solid black. Now, at the moment, you can see that everything has been given um, a border, which is exactly what, what we asked for, right? But we don't want that. We actually want um, this to all be seamless. So here we can just do border, collapse, and then we can say collapse. And now you can see that's starting to look more like an actual table. Now, there's other things that we can do. We can actually style things separately. So let's style the uh, table headers. Let's give this a background color of, let's go for this sky blue color. Okay, um, let's also give some padding on this as well. Um, and padding is basically giving um, space inside our element. Um, again, we'll be taking a look at all things CSS a bit later on. Let's just do padding, a five pixel padding. So it's giving a five pixel padding around each element here. Okay, uh, so background color blue for the table headings. For table data, um, let's do something different with table data. We'll come back to table data in just a second. Let's go back to our table and let's just change these. Um, I'm going to change this to um, food. Let's change heading two to price. And the third one, let's change that to quantity. Like so. And item one can be milk. 
item two, which is which relates to our price, is going to be the price of the milk. So let's just do 199. And then item three is going to relate to the third heading here, which is quantity. Let's just go for one. Okay. And let's copy this. Let's copy it down three more times. And now let's continue then filling out our table. So let's go for bread. And let's say the bread is just a pound. And yep, we just want one bread. Let's go for cheese. And let's say the cheese costs one pound fifty. And again, we just want one. Um, in fact, let's change this up. Let's let's make it two, two blocks of cheese. And then finally, let's go for carrots. And let's keep the price of this to. Um, Let's make this two pounds and let's say a quantity of a bag of carrots here and we have eight carrots in our bag okay so um let's actually now um go back to our style sheet here and let's now style our table data so let's select the table data td and what i'm going to do uh, actually not not td let's do table um space what i want to do is i actually want to style each alternating row here so we have um, a color and then blank color and blank just to split up the, the table and make it a bit more readable so the way that we do that is we do table and then let's select the table row and we're going to say colon nth child odd okay so what we're doing is we're saying take the table take the table rows and select each odd row and then do something to the table data what we want to do is we're going to change the background color to um i don't know let's go for dodger blue okay actually this would look better the other way around wouldn't it if this was dodger blue and if this was sky blue okay looks better so as you can see then guys what this has done is it's actually applied the background color not to all the table uh, rolls here but only to the odd numbered table rolls so this is one two three four five okay and if we were to add more data to this let's just copy this up to there if we were to add more data as we keep adding data this style would actually continue okay guys so that's how to create a basic table in html and also how to apply basic styling as well i hope that was useful please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one